Hello and welcome to Whiteland Restorations. That's, I do that. No, that's my turn now. You had Why it last your time. Turn? Oh. <laughs> There's been some things going on underneath this car, and uh, we're going to show you what that is. Nian's being quiet because uh, Baba's asleep in the other room, and she's just starting to stir. She's just stirring. Stirring a bit. So we're getting every minute we can. Yeah. Yeah. Um, exciting episode. Anti roll bars. Anti roll um, bars. Cleaned them up, painted them, fitted them. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. We um, used the least effort way to clean up and do these anti roll bars as possible. It basically so sorted itself out. They were out. disgusting. They I, were. I should have done them with the rest of the undercarriage. I just, I didn't know whether an upgrade was going to be coming or not. Yeah. Or at the moment, we just can't afford it. So, um, We've refurbed the standard ones. We've refurbed the standard the ones. Standard ones. Um, paint stripper to get off all the muck and goo yeah. and paint that strips them off really fast really fast you don't have to bother cleaning them or anything you just put it's paint stripper on stuff, and it just rips yeah. everything off and then electrolysis which is the best way of removing rust all honestly. the rust just came off so nicely you'll see and quick wire brush to remove off any of the remaining scabby, scabby bits of painted Fitted with all new bolts, all new hardware, and um, plenty of grease. Classic Swedes. Poly bushes. Poly bushes. See, psychic link. There we go. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go through all of that with you now. Um, it's a good one. We're edging closer so and closer close. to the MOT. Um, I know we keep saying you won't see another video until it's we finished. We just can't help ourselves. We can't. But help we need ourselves. we need to keep the content rolling too. We do. Yeah. Uh, do you notice that as tempting as it is, we could put the cameras down and just go for the finish line, but you'd miss out. Yes. Yes. Right. So speaking about that, let's get on with it. Let's, let's have a look at it. these let's robots. Go to the electrolysis tank. Let's go to the tank. This is our electrolysis tank. <laughs> We've built this tank for doing <laughs> big things of rustiness that can be electrolysis yeah. away whilst we're tinkering with other things in the workshop. So now these have been in here for a day and a bit. Day and a bit, either which way around because they do stick out. Yeah, they are really so now they are cooked, I think. Cooked, so. We've got everything else that's gonna come off. That is, we'll look out. Let's have a look, that. oh, hold on, let me get, let me get in. Right, look, there's the rust. <gasps> look, it just wiped away. Nice fresh metal and then there's that. steel there. Look. I mean, considering you didn't have to touch these, you just let it do its thing. It's yeah. such an efficient way of doing it. Any heavier rust this side? Yeah, the bigger yeah. heavier rust. You can see it coming off my hands. Well, it comes off, but it, it's coming off at the molecular level. Yeah, it's you it's know? now completely stripped of. Yeah. Well, it's completely stripped of the big rust. The big rust. Yeah. We'll we'll have to give it a light wire brush. Ugh. Yeah, disgusting. Yeah. Here, I'll hold it. That no, bit. don't you hold it. Let it fall. Right. Let's go and take these. Oh, there's a satisfying bit there. Look, look, see that bit? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look That's at that. Right, big chunky bits of flaky rust just come off. Also, I don't know what you dropped in the tank. Nothing. Yeah, something fell in. <sighs> so that's at the bottom now. Come on then. Let's get these to the spray shop. Oh. No, <laughs> that would require planning. It would require planning. Would require, watch out for the escort door. Okay, I'm watching out. <clears throat> I'm watching out. It seems we have somebody fattening our wipers. Oh, hi. <laughs> Nothing to see here. What's that, Ian from Hubnut? All looking perfect. It looked like him. Anyway. As you saw with the electrolysis tank, it has done wonders removing the rust off of these anti-roll bars. Um, I'll do a few more close-up shots now with my mobile device here. Now it's dried off a little bit, but you can still see, if I can focus on this, that the rust is still just wiping off the bigger stuff anyway, it's still um, like it's dried off, it's, it's water. So it rusts pretty instantly afterwards. So what we've got to do next is um, we're going to use this tool here 
This is called an MBX wheel and it's got some pretty gnarly looking wire brush teeth. Look at those bad boys. So we're going to use this, lightly go over it and that will remove the rest of all of this nasty flaky stuff. And um, basically just like that we're going to be able to paint these suckers. So eye protection, ear protection, bit of music and let's get on with it. These are coming out really nice. Look at that. That electrolysis tank really saves some hours. That would have taken oh, the, a couple of hours to sand, to, to, to wire brush that to this level would have taken hours, hours and hours and hours. And that was just a quick straight over. All the rust is now gone and we're going to move on to the front Andy roll bar, get that in the same condition. If I had a little clock or something, I could stand it up in the background and show you exactly how long it takes to get this anti-roll bar to this level. That wasn't so bad, was it? Bit of wire brushing, less than half an hour, I reckon. Really quick. Quick bit of wire brushing after the electrolysis did all the hard work for us, basically. And these are looking very close to, bit, to a bit of paint. So, next I'm gonna use some of this Hammerite Cure Rust because I really like this stuff. There is still brown on here because it has been out in the air since um, it came out of the water tank and it dried and it's gone brown because of rust because that's just what happens. Um, so we're going to give it a scotch and a bit of this, rub it all over nice and really work it in there, wipe that off and that will get right into the bottom of all the pits and set any more rust that's going to come out. So really speaking, these shouldn't ever give us a problem ever again. Well, apart from when time just eats away at them, you know. Just a quick scrub. And these are gonna look really nice now. Ready for a bit of painting. I love a bit of painting in this shed now. Just going to wipe the excess cure rust off. I don't really like leaving it on too long. It kind of creates a shell. Sometimes that shell can be a bit fragile.
Daytona yellow. Daytona yellow. The only yellow. The only yellow to have. I mean, it's going to be popping under there, isn't it? It's going to be loud under there with all oh. that black. Oh, it's going to be lovely. They're going to look great. My choice, by the way. <laughs> of course it is. So we've also got um, engine mounts, gearbox mounts. Yeah, look, engine mount. It's for you. Engine mount. Engine mount. What's that in those boxes? Um, these bits. Tracker ends. The drop links. Drop links. Drop links for the front sway bar. All the bracketry underneath the front has been um, sandblasted and powder coated. And we've got these from Die Brace. These are the front anti roll bar bushes. Yeah, poly ones. But ours are that shaped. Oh, so we're going to have to do a little bit of a fettling with that one. We might have Let's to do some fettling. Yes. I don't know whether that's our bad for ordering the wrong part or if he only just makes these ones. Um, we haven't got knobbies on now. We don't so. have knobbies and we don't have the ability to take up a knobbly. Well, some trimming will be required. But I think they do fit other in, in other, other than that. They, right. they do fit in. I think that would be good. Um, good, good. Um, this she's um she's tv <laughs> you know she's um i'm gonna go and sand these down <laughs> going in it's going in if i can figure it out yeah you got it i can come and push those bolts in for you I, I have to say the yellow is looking very nice under there though. I don't know. What? You don't like I it? No, I mean what I'd say is, I don't know because all I can see is oh. anti roll bar dumbness. Oh, don't let it drop out. See? Anti roll bar dumbness. I don't think that bit of wood's going to stand it. It did. Top tips. Top tips. Right, I need... Um, need the torque settings for the next bit now. The... Which is... Do you want trailing arm to body? Is that done? Yeah. We need the actual anti-roll bar torque settings now. Stabiliser bar front fixing is 84. Rear fixing is 44. At it's already at 44. That seems quite loose, that, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. 44. So it's quite a long bar. Shall I um, amp it up a bit? Well, the specs, babe. It's a spec. We're at 84 for the front ones. Right, that needs a span on the other side. A piece of wood. That's more like Same it. On this side. Make all the noise in the world. Yeah. Here we go. Lovely stuff. There we go, that keeps going. So that is the bar torqued up. We're going to go through and check all the other rear torques now and then we'll go around to the front rod, a roll bar even. We're going to put all the bits and bobs on the anti-roll bar, nice and loose, and then offer the whole thing in in one hit. So let's get greasing. Yeah, we'll grease it all up, slap it in, and then we'll tighten it up. Yeah. It's always a good plan, isn't it? Well, and also for this, I'm going to be using this Jam. Red rubberized grease, not the um, not the silicone. I, so. I think this stuff's gonna last a bit longer than the other grease, you know. Yesterday's jam. Uh, look at that. 
It's so sticky. Yeah. All goes in that way, doesn't it? Yeah. Like that. That's on there loosely. Look at the state of you. Oh, well, it's a greasy job, I'm afraid. It's a greasy job. Um, next, uh, these. Um, yeah, so same dealio. Lots of grease in there. Actually get some in that slot as well, because that's going to help feed it in over time. i tell you what, we'll be Do getting under there with a the cloth and wiping off all this bloody overspill. Look at that. Yes, you will. <laughs> Let's get this, um, let's get this bad boy in. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been practicing your twister moves? Here we go. Here we go. Right, let me just stand there. And then I'll get those bolts in, hopefully. These jelly bolts. Yeah. Yep. I have sourced tool for you. Thank you, darling. Ooh. You didn't um, bring an extension bar with that, did you? Oh man, you want an extension bar as well? Yeah, oh. just... oh, it's going up lovely. Oh, look at squishing the grease out. Yeah. Oh, lovely stuff. All right, before I go too mad with that, I'll get the other side to the same setting yeah. and we get the other bolts Even in we'll out. go for a full nip up nip nip once it's all in place that close enough for a torque setting yeah let's see what i can find just checking through the hanes for the torque settings and the only torque settings for the whole front suspension don't include anything for the roll bar how strange um we'll have a quick look online but it looks like it's just going to be as tight as we want babes ft ft that's some good tightening up there. I think some a pro pro tightener. <sighs> that's it. That's it. That's, that's the it. last bolt. I'm gonna unclub, <laughs> un uncouple that as a sign of that completion. Is done. Oh my god! Look, let's just uh, clean up a bit of overspill and then we'll, we'll have a look at what it looks Ooh, like. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now that's all done, before we hit the road, I want to just protect all the shiny bits, all the nuts and bolts and stuff with a bit of this um, Dynax Ultra Clear. This is the same as the S50 Dynax uh, from Built Hamber, um, but it's clear, look, kind of clear. Yeah, it is, it is, What's the word? Like it, it does. It looks invisible when you spit. Let's yeah. have a look. Let's have a look. I mean, yeah, so um, we don't want it to be dark. All the things obviously. like this um, steering rod arm. Yeah. We can just give it a, a light spray, and it still looks nice. You nice wouldn't know. It's all protected. Yeah. So we're just going to give things a light. So after all that lovely work we've done under the car, we're just going to give it the ultimate protection against any corrosion getting in. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you know we love Built Hamber products, but this is just the icing on the cake at the end of the project, isn't it? It sure is. It's just going to help everything live that little bit longer yeah. and remain nice looking for, well, yeah, remain nice looking for as long as we can as well. Especially in here, the suspension cup. Yeah. That, they're, they're, they're notorious for resting out. That'll help that. But yeah, just just slather it on. I mean, uh, you can't ask for better. Loads of straw attachments as well for this stuff. Yeah. Um, really long ones go in your chassis and within stuff. Yeah. It's also a really short one for concentrated bursts. Mm. I'm gonna get one now to show you. Super easy. Swap it out. Bing, bang, bang. And it gives a really powerful Jet of the stuff then for like the more harder to reach places. Mm. The uh, fuel tank is a bit of a spot for corrosion on 240s, isn't it? The whole tank is really exposed, and yeah. actually, the front of it gets hit with more water and dirt than you'd think. So, yeah, again, and I mean, round the edges because it's, um, it's a two piece metal, 
it's got it like an open seam, so you really need to get it in these edges. Let's protect that. Right, guys, I will put a link to Dynex uh, you see in the description. Not well a sponsor, we just love them. We just love them. Right, carry on. Right, we're all done. It's all done. It's all done. It's, a, it, it's literally ready for the road. It's Christmas day. It's, <laughs> it's Christmas day. Now, Lewis is still filming the wheel episode. It's a bumper episode. It's really good. Bumper episode. It's really good. It is really good. Um, we're going to take it for an MOT on these wheels, I think. Yeah. I want so an MOT so it's on the road. We need to do some mileage on it, um, no matter yeah. what wheels are on it, to shake down before we go on the charity car run mm -hmm. next weekend. Next weekend, we need to make sure it's gonna be reliable. Yeah. So, um, I, 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 I can't get over it. It's, it's been two years and it's, it's, it's years. this close. It's been two years and we've basically redone everything apart from the engine. Everything. everything, everything. And the only thing we haven't redone, which is the engine, gave us a hell of a load of pain in the arseness, didn't it? It is, well, <laughs> we don't, don't talk about that in front of Oh, us. and just to say, Thank, big thank you, Tim and Cameron Classics. Came over on Monday and he, he went through everything with a fine tooth comb. He found loads wrong with it from previous owner. Yeah. Um, or owners. Owners. Um, tuned it to perfection. Tuned it, it to wrong. perfection. Yeah. Um, found out what was wrong with it. Um, super great guy. If you want your He's classic car nice tuning, yeah, he is a super nice guy. If you want your classic car tuning, got any carb issues or anything like that, give Tim Cameron yeah. Classics a call. He'll sort you right yeah. out. He is the man. Genius. Uh, also, a big thank you to Ian at Habnut for sorting the window wipers out. I mean, you couldn't drive along without your wipers to, what do you call it, specs? Who has window wipers put on by Ian at Habnut? <laughs> hmm? Monica does. Monica does. <laughs> Not many cars have that. Right, guys, I'm going to go and get on the phone now and go and see when I can get Monica in for MOT. I can't Oof. wait any longer. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, one more thing. Oh. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Oh, again?